but with every event that we are part of, every event that we have uh, had some conscious thought into, we have had at some point a choice, a thought, a decision. And it's when we can see the whole picture where we can start to take account for that part that we contributed, when we start to see that the whole system largely rests on the presumption that if we don't object, then it is consent, then we start to see that uh, our absence from participating in the political framework, uh, our absence of reading and studying, our absence of actually testing things rather than just simply believing them at face value puts the blame back on us. So, yeah, absolutely. Your vote, our vote, appoints them the executor. Absolutely. It, could that be why they changed it years ago, a long time ago, from uh, appointing electors? Yes. Remember because, correctly. Absolutely, because... Look, the and this is the, probably the scariest thing. When the bankers took control of the world, and I was a very, I was a great cynic of this. I, I still believe that the Vatican and, and other elements and the Jesuits and others were were driving, it, and they still do. I mean, they're the they're the administrators, they're the appointed agents of these people making parts work. But when these families broke out of their gilded cage and said we through our financial wizardry are going to control the world it was that under them that they started to introduce this concept of uh, everyone has the right to vote and the reason they felt so comfortable is uh, a quote by one of the Rothschilds he said give me the currency of any country and I do not care who is in government or words to that effect Right, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'd just so, like yeah, to wait, I mean, make one point. Uh, I was in court probably a year ago. Uh, I refused to have the public defender and the judge appointed one. Yeah. And uh, it was about a driver's license issue, which, you know, it's, it's just simple. But uh, I told him, I said, I tried to get a driver's license. I said, and the state wouldn't send it to me because I did under... I signed under duress under my name, and she sat there right by me and said, oh, you can't do that. Everything is voluntary. <laughs> well, there you see. I mean, the system, the system uh, rests on the presumption that, that uh, you make a choice. And they always say that, that, that uh, you know, the agreement at the end of a case they separate sentencing from the hearing, from the trial, don't they? The sentence is a separate hearing in itself. And in, they even separate the trial or the hearing from a pre-sentence. And the reason they do that is that they still want to honour the original Roman principle of allocution, co-locution and adlocution, the three opportunities to defend yourself. You know that that's... That, seen in the in the bible with yep. peter at and the and the sentries how many times does the cock crow three and how many times did peter have the opportunity to stand up for jesus right three right so they do it they give us that opportunity and i think this is a sobering point when we look back and i hope you don't mind i'm going to keep going but when we look back and we see the state of the system it's because we do not stand up collectively and individually that, that the system is the way it is. And if we're going to change the system, it's going to be because we are prepared to stand up and be competent that things will change, not because we will be given uh, a redress because we are a victim. Nothing will change if we stand up and, and, and think ourselves victims. Look, I really thank you, Call. I'm sorry I... I went on and on and on there, but thank you for your feedback, Jambo. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Okay. I'm going to wrap up in a few minutes, but I see that Darwin Bourne's come on. I'd like to, to, to unmute and speak to Darwin again, and then we'll, we'll wrap up in a moment. Hi, Darwin Bourne. Can you hear us? Oh, good. Thanks very much. Uh, just regathered my thoughts there. I just, if it was okay 
thought it might be helpful if I just spoke briefly about somebody who I knew and interacted with growing up that was a living general executor. Um, yep. that, and that was yep. my father's father, my grandfather. And uh, when when he passed away, uh, we, as part of our family and, and, and members that were to receive benefit from his estate, uh, we had uh, uh, Reuters, accountants and lawyers, uh, international ones, but they're, they're Australian, we're, we're Australian, uh, but they're based overseas, uh, head of a bank, uh, bishops, nuns, priests, and nobody could deconstruct his trust when he died, my grandfather. And they had to get a bishop in to de- help help deconstruct the trust. They still had this, they weren't able to do it straight away. It took a, a long time. Um, my grandfather was a very, very simple man, and he, he never wore anything except for a singlet and overalls. He worked every single day of his life till he died. In fact, that's how he died. Um, and uh, he only wore a suit to church. He walked everywhere, and he administered the the community around him. Uh, he wasn't a, a, like a, a member of the councils or anything. He never, ever appeared in courts. Um, he did everything either by through his voice uh, like he, he may appear at something and say something, but he um, influenced a whole suburb of the inner north shore of Sydney uh, in regards to its development, the naming of its streets, and um, etc. Uh, to both the government and in regard to how the government was al- allowing any form of a claimed legislative law to be passed on to construction companies or other private bodies that were acting on our behalf. So he instructed everybody, <laughs> and, he, and and he wasn't running around anywhere doing it. He was he lived at home working. You know, um, he, he was a horticulturalist, growing, growing plants. He wasn't like he was running around after anybody. So it always amazed me now when I realised actually what he did and in the manner in which he did it. And the reason why he did it was because of the manner in which he acted. And he never ever sought to gain anything from anybody. Even he had trust constructed with millions of dollars in the 70s and 80s. Um, so uh, I, I don't really know what else I can say than that. But if you are not acting in that manner yourself, you are not a general executor because you, you're essentially acquiescing to somebody else's forms or beliefs or forms of statute, law or rules because you're not Agreed. handling your own business. And that's why, and that's and that's why the system is confident in staying in power, because it does not believe that enough of us, enough people, are are capable of behaving in that manner. And I I disagree. I believe people are capable, are more than capable of behaving in that manner. So it's a great it's a great example. Could I just say three words to support that? Because I think of the uh, American Negro young people who, who, who with their different forms of expressing music and dance and stuff. Uh, it, one of the biggest sayings that they've, I've ever heard them say, or that, that, that I've known that I've had them say to me, is, are you taking care of your business? And and people, I think, in some respects, see it as a form of Americanisation or marketisation. It's not. It's a tribal thing amongst them that's spread amongst the corporate world that they've utilised to use to get people to change their thought so they refocus it to the company. But it's all about taking care of your personal business for yourself. And those people who probably don't have access to the resource, to the tools that we have, all of them, um, are, are the people who really do, who are the general executives. Yes, they might be acting um, poorly towards the greater community, but now that we understand what the greater community has done to them, because it's happened to us, who it hadn't happened to for the last 80 years, the mums and dads and grandparents, the the homeowners, the people who paid for the system, now now we'd better start listening to those people who have had nothing for the last 100 years, because they got the spirit of community, because that's all they got is community. That's why they know the law, that's why they're able to act the way they do and still remain a community. We call it violence, and all it is. It's horrible, and they they're disaffected by the actions of themselves upon their own community. But they haven't been given a choice or an option. They've been fenced in physically and enclosed spiritually, so they've been stripped of everything, and all that they have is each other. 
and that's why they know the true true law. That's why they they're able to express it in the dance and the song without knowing the words from a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand years ago, because it's in the spirit, and that's what this is all about. It's in the spirit, it is, it is. not in the paper. It is. It is. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm I'm going to wrap up now, and 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 Darren, well, thank you so much for sharing your your own experience and i think I, i'm 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 sure speaking on for everyone it, it this is what enriches people it's not just hearing from me it's hearing where people are able to add or even to show differences so we can all learn and i, I think it's a wonderful example thank you um i'm going to uh, wrap up now for the call uh, the storm appears from the, the rattling of the doors to be uh, pretty close here so we're going to wrap up I just want to thank you all, and, and I do this each, each week, but I, I do mean it. What I do it means nothing if it doesn't help, if it doesn't have a relevance. Uh, UKD means nothing if uh, and, and won't survive if uh, all of you don't make copies of it and find ways that it can help you and others uh, and uh, keep it. So we move forward together. Um, this is something that we all have a part to play in and I hope that we can speak again next Wednesday at the same time on talk show and again thank you very much for all the contributions tonight and I hope all of you have a great week thanks very much good night